At the end of the last episode, you may have seen me put the queen back into the magnifying pot with the brood and the workers. Now, once the first workers hatch, usually the queen will just retire to the nest. The workers will then tend to the brood, maintain the nest and gather food for both the queen and the brood. And workers are all females. Eventually, when the colony grows, the different jobs of each worker will become more obvious. So the queen actually had to come out of retirement, which was pretty emotional for her. Um, she actually had a lot of aspirations for her retirement, besides continuously laying eggs. talented ant that was <laughs> I don't know what that was anyway um when I first moved her back into the pot I actually thought she was eating the brood and I thought I'd completely messed everything up I'd stressed her out and now she's destroying everything but when I actually looked a little bit closer I noticed what she was actually doing was picking each individual larvae up and carefully placing it on top of each other so just making a little pile then I noticed one of the ants rushed over to her and started to tend to her. It seems that some of my workers have either died or suspiciously disappeared, and I think I've counted about three or four workers left, but I have to say they have been helping the queen, and the queen has actually been helping them, and they all seem to be doing a great job with the brood. The brood are basically legless grub, also known as larvae, and they are protected inside a white silk cocoon. I found this image online and if you look close enough it actually looks like they have little hairs. These will be the next generation of non-reproductive females, aka the workers. Food wise I have been providing the ants with seeds, fresh cricket and honey which is soaked up into this cotton ball. Also I will be adding a bonus video today as I actually filmed one of the workers I believe feeding the queen. I had to increase the speed as the video went on for about five minutes, but I think it's pretty interesting. But if you want to see that, the link will be in the description below, or you can click in this video at the end. I really hope that the colony continues to thrive. We need a name for either the queen or the colony, so if you have any suggestions, pop them in the comments section below. <laughs> <laughs>